there, Crystal Covington, founder of Women of Denver, here with one of our members, Kathy Riley, founder of Sharing the Shine. We are, we so we've been talking, so we're all like giddy from our conversation already, <laughs> but we're going to share with you some of what we were chit-chatting about. Um, but first, I will let Kathy give a little introduction of, you know, tell us a little bit about your background, some of your, how you came about your expertise and uh, tell me what you're doing with horses as well. <laughs> <laughs> so um, Kathy Riley was sharing the shine. I'm a personal wellness specialist. And what I do is I work with mostly women, crazy busy women, helping to um, help them step into self-advocacy and taking care of ourselves. As women, you know, we typically have a plate. We take care, of, there's so many things we put on our plate, but as women, we make our plate a platter and we've got to learn how to uh, be better to ourselves and make better choices. So um, I focus on three areas, mind, body, and environment. Mind, and I hope I can say this, is the itty bitty shitty committee. That's the stinking thinking. And then the body and the environment is making better choices for what we put in and on our body. I got into this business um, because I'm one of those stubborn people that learns things the hard way. And, um, Started with uh, hospital visits four times in five months. And so I learned that I needed to be a better version of me, make better choices. I'm a mom, so I needed, really wanted to be a good example for my daughter. Um, so I just started doing a lot of research, a lot of research, and found tools that helped me be the best version of me. So I put it in a book, I speak about it, and I work with individuals one-on-one -on -one to make better choices. And it's kind of, it's uh, literally about five years after I started this whole process, it literally saved my life. I was hospitalized again. And the doctors told me my healthy lifestyle is what saved my life. Wow. So I, I'm like, okay, it's important. We need to know these tools. So now I teach it. And then the horse, the horse is my equine therapy. There is nothing, nothing more therapeutic than looking and being with a horse. It is amazing, except when you have a morning like I did. When <laughs> you can't plan this stuff. I mean, really, when my pants literally got hooked into his, his bit <laughs> and I was flopping around like a rodeo queen and uh, <laughs> I landed perfectly, I'm fine, it's good, but it was, it made for a fun morning. <laughs> Oh my gosh. I really wish you had gotten it on video and then we could play the clip right now. <laughs> it would have been so good. It would have been a meme. <laughs> my pants, I can show you how shredded they are. My pants are just completely shredded. So. <laughs> yes. Horses are pretty awesome. I'm from Michigan and that was one of the things that we would do. I feel like every year as teenagers, they would take us out to a ranch like every teacher was like I'm going to be the cool teacher and take them to the ranch and then you'd be yeah. like did we tell her we've done this 20 different times but yes our first time at the ranch we'd go to the ranch we'd ride the horses and it was just kind of something to do every state every year I feel like um and it was just it was really lovely to have that experience and be able to say I've been on a horse's back even though <laughs> it was they're they're so big to me sometimes they are but they are gentle giants and it's sure. you just always have to pay attention yes 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 true therapy anyway yes <laughs> so we're getting into it's october officially now i can't believe yes. it and we're getting into the season for the sniffles and all of that so we had our summer sniffles from you know the 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 air the the ash and the trees and the ragweed and all of those kinds of things. Now we're heading into a different form of sniffles and we wanna kind of think about, you know, how do we make sure that our immune system is in great shape starting today? What are some of the yes. things that we can do to prep for the season of being inside all the time and, um, you know, sharing germs? <laughs> so what are your yeah. tips for kind of preparing ourselves? So one of the things that you can do that everyone can do is drink lots of water. And we probably heard this a hundred times, but drinking water. So it's suggested half your weight in ounces in water is what you should be drinking on a daily basis. And, you know, there's a lot of science behind it, but basically you're flushing your body. Um, having tools to have your body perform at its peak is really 
um, what we want to do. So um, drinking water, um, getting good sleep. Um, your body performs um, at its peak again when it when you get the sleep. And you know, as we're parents, right? And we work and we do a lot and sleep. Um, we kind of push it off and don't worry about it too much. But to stay healthy, get your sleep. Um, I'm telling you, you got to get your eight hours. Um, it's not easy, but yeah. focus on it. Um, it can be done. A lot has to do with planning. Um, the other thing, uh, the vitamins. So a basic multivitamin, which most Americans do not take. It is something that we don't really think about, but our food no longer has the nutrients that it used to have 20, 50 years ago. So... Mm -hmm in order to get our body to perform where and, and be able to fight off everything, we want to have um, our levels um, at its peak again. I guess peak is the word for today. Taking yeah. <laughs> a basic multivitamin um, is really, really helpful. And then there's things like immune boosts that are out there. You know, your vitamin C, your zinc, your echinacea, things like that. Um, I always take those, like before I go to a big meeting, not that we're really having big meetings right now, but before I go out and we're going to be meeting people, um, yeah. you know, I'm, I go to church, so I'll take it before I go uh, to church. Um, I have traveled, so I make sure I travel there. So taking an immune boost is also very, very helpful. Um, and you can get that at any place. I mean, but the vitamin C, zinc, um, and echinacea, I like doing a blend of those. Mm -hmm. That's what I can think of off of the top of my head. <laughs> Those are good tips. I, I, I would suggest for everyone to do like, if you're going to do echinacea, do something that you don't have to taste it. It's the nastiest thing, but echinacea it's tea, I cannot palate it. You know, people like yourself often have, you've done so many herbal supplements, things like that, yeah. that it, but I tried the echinacea. I'm just like, eh. <laughs> oh. I got to take it back some other kind of way. <laughs> well, zinc, zinc is good too. Yeah, zinc is cool. And they have those little, they have those little lozenges. Those are, I have to be careful because you have to remember there's too much zinc. You can't have, yes. you know, you don't have so much. And it's like, oh, this tastes good. I'll just have another. <laughs> yeah, they're not candy. <laughs> yeah, it's not candy. It's supplementation. <laughs> right. Yeah. right. So those are super valuable. So what else would you love to share with us before we, um, before we go? Um, I guess one of the things to keep your um, immune up is uh, getting outside. Mm -hmm. You know, we are in a time where a lot of us are working from home and we're not getting out that much. So getting outside is really important. And I have what's called a joy list. Do you, have you ever heard of a joy list? No. So a joy list is um, coming up with things, you know, pick 10 to 20 things that you do and have done that bring you absolute joy. And it doesn't have to be anything that costs money. Um, or it could be something simple as just going for a walk, walking your dog. I have to be careful because she's outside my door and I just said the word. Um, and, uh, or, you know, reading a book or meditating or getting your nails done. Um, what is it that brings you absolute joy and make a list and then pull from that list once a day if it's five minutes of whatever is from your joy um, because our our mental state is just as important as our physical state when it comes to our immunity so getting back to a happy place for five 10 15 minutes a day boosts your immunity and laugh giggle you know Call a good friend, tell jokes, <laughs> go, go see your horse and go flop around a little bit. <laughs> <It's so silly. laughs> but laugh so that the humor will boost your immunity. <laughs> so that's awesome. <laughs> well, those are amazing tips. Some of them super simple things that people find hard to do, but if we prioritize them, we can get it done. And right now, it is a very good time to prioritize, get her done, make sure you get your sleep, make sure you get your water and just prioritize self-care and self-love. 
So yes. Kathy, tell people how they can keep in touch and follow you or learn how they can work with you. Awesome. So I am on Instagram. I'm building that. So um, find me at sharing the shine um, on Instagram. I'm also on Facebook under sharing the shine. My website is sharing the And you know, I would just love to connect with anybody. I am a people person. I'm an introvert, but I'm also a people person. And I love hearing stories and talking to people and, and helping whoever I can step into their own advocacy. So I would love to connect with you and get to know you and see how we can support each other and have fun and laugh. Beautiful. Thanks so much for taking the time to share a little bit about yourself and your immune boosting tips for women of Denver. My pleasure. Thank you for having me.